I would like to cover two topics today, cotton flea hoppers and plant growth regulator applications. I realize that we have varying stages of cotton development due to the recent rainfall events in late May and early June. Therefore, I hope one of these topics, if not both, are applicable to your farm. As some of our fields are approaching the pinhead to matchhead growth stage, it is important to scout for cotton flea hoppers. Adult flea hoppers are approximately 1 8 inch in length and pale green in color. Flea hopper nymphs, which are opaque green in color, look like adults but lack wings and move rapidly when disturbed. Both nymphs and adults use their piercing sucking mouth parts to penetrate small squares which cause desiccation from sap removal. Pinhead squares are the most susceptible to this blasting where the fruit turns brown and dies. Larger squares and fruit are not as susceptible to flea hopper feeding damage. Just a tip when scouting for cotton flea hoppers. Remember when checking plants, keep the sun in your face so you don't cast a shadow on the plant. Shadows tend to cause adult flea hoppers to fly off and accurate counts are difficult to obtain. Please consult your local IPM agent or your university extension specialist for the economic thresholds for your geography. For those producers who have cotton that is growing rapidly due to available moisture and or a good fertility program, a plant growth regulator application may be necessary. One of the best indicated indicators of, to determine if an application is necessary is to look at the internode links on the plant. These internode links are a great way to understand how the plant is growing and helps provide the information necessary to determine if an application is warranted. I personally like to start at the terminal and count down four nodes. The inner node between the fourth and fifth is the most actively growing node and provides the best indicator of growth. If that inner node distance is greater than two and a half inches, a PGR application may be warranted. When I visit with producers regarding PGR application, I think it's important to know field history. Does this field have a history of rank cotton? Soil type. Soils with more clay have a better water holding capacity, irrigation capacity, or recent rainfall, and finally, what kind of fertility program do you have? With most of the phytogen varieties, I have seen the best success by using multiple applications early with lower rates of plant growth regulators. I typically like to see the first application at pinhead square and a second application, if necessary, at third grown square. I believe that determining the PGR applications are a part art and a part science. You need to have the ability to envision what the crop will look like in two weeks from today and then treat accordingly. Please remember that it, that it is important to pay attention to the plant and let it guide you in regards to your PGR applications. Thanks for choosing Phytogen and until next time, good luck.